Uh, hey guys, so a while ago I'd done a video on uh, power pathing and priority in the camp system and how you could use this to, uh, to do some different things. Uh, and then recently I'd done a camp called Beat the Clock, which I have uh, behind me here. Uh, and this is a good example of how you can use this to do some, I guess, some interesting things with the camp. Uh, and I didn't really show a tour of it when I did that video, but I'm going to show that now and then uh, show how it works inside so you can get an idea of, of how you can use that. So obviously we have here uh, all the floating stash boxes uh, that uses the camp object uh, power armor trick. Um, not sure where I'd gotten that one, but I know there's a few videos on that. Uh, also have several flamers. Uh, you can see the tip of them with these uh, little blue flames uh, kind of glitched into walls all throughout it, uh, leveled up with the stash boxes. Uh, and of course the whole thing is built on a steep cliff uh, with a very high fall so if you fall from here you're likely to die if you don't have uh, some kind of perk or something like that uh, with the point of the game being that players need to jump from platform to platform uh, and reach the top for some prizes some stuff I've put in the vendor for zero caps uh, and the main feature of this build is that it's timed so you you have a finite amount of time to get up there uh, and what happens is flamers are going to start removing platforms at the lowest level and then sort of go up uh, uh, and go through them all the way to the top, eventually removing all of them. So you, you're kind of racing against time. Uh, so I'm going to show an example. Hello, there's a random person here. I'm going to show you an example by turning this on. Uh, so in the back, there's actually a flamer turning on. And when that uh, burns through uh, a wall that's back there, it's going to turn on the flamers that are on the, the lower level here. we go. Uh, once that happens it's going to move up to the second level and do the same thing. Uh, so eventually after this first row the second row is going to turn on. Uh, and then finally it's going to move up to the third row. So after that second row is done uh, you're going to see that third row turn on and it's going to remove the remaining platforms. So I'm going to talk about how this uh, camp is wired and how uh, uh, using the power pathing and priority uh, stuff that I talked about that you can get it to, to do these things. Uh, so on the outside, obviously, I have my power switch that I've kind of hidden in the wall there. Uh, once you get inside, um, and you notice the flamers I have glitched into the wall using different methods, and uh, they're all sitting on stash boxes just, just to raise them to the levels I need. Uh, but most importantly uh, is this uh, small generator. So this is really one of the core features of what makes this uh, work the way it does. Uh, so this is just your regular small generator. It generates three power if you look at the, uh, the number there. Uh, and the first thing I have hooked to it is a powered speaker. So this just uses one power. Uh, now the reason for this is I, I specifically want to have that two power in the circuit. Uh, and I'm going to use that to make these flamers uh, do different things. Uh, so if I follow the wire from the switch uh, down the line here, uh, and you'll see that it hooks to a power pylon, uh, this is where the, the first stage of the timer happens. So it hooks to this pylon. You'll see this pylon has two powered speakers. Again, they both take one power. Uh, and if you look on the other side, I'll turn this to a door, uh, I have a flamer. Uh, so that extra two power is going to come to these two speakers, uh, and because it's got to go through this power pylon, it's going to power this flamer as well. Uh, so when this flamer turns on, it's going to hit this wall and it's going to slowly eat away at it. Uh, and then obviously once that wall is gone, it's going to hit this. So just destroying this is what's going to cause that power to cycle. So once this is destroyed, the power can no longer reach these speakers. Uh, so we go from having three power consumed uh, in the circuit to now we have an extra two power again. Uh, so when you look at this, if you go back to where I originally hooked it up, uh, you'll see there's two connections here. Uh, so however long it takes this to burn and then destroy this is when it's going to send power to the second level, uh, where we basically have the same thing set up. Uh, so I have the flamer on this side for whatever reason I put it there. It changes to a door. Uh, you'll see again I have another pylon and I have two powered speakers. Uh, so now the difference here is that I have one of these speakers uh, now wired to the flamers on the first floor. Uh, and this basically what, what this means is that when this uh, quote unquote timer finishes and comes up here, the power is now going to turn on that first row. 
Uh, so the same thing works here. So when this flamer uh, burns through this wall, it's going to destroy this power pylon. Uh, once that's destroyed, it destroys the connection to these two powered speakers. So again, uh, we only have three power in the circuit. We can only power uh, three power total as objects. Uh, so if we look at the connection, that's actually going to send it now to the third level, where it's going to do the exact same thing. So you'll look, and I actually have the pylon wired this time to the second level of flamers. Uh, and same idea, you got two powered speakers. Um, you look on the other side of the wall and you have a flamer. So this, this basically is functioning kind of as the timer and then uh, when the wall is destroyed um, it's going to destroy this and then once again it's going to come up to the top uh, and you'll see now once, once that power is cycled we have a, a powered speaker on the left side a power speaker on the right side. This, this is why I needed to have two power free uh, and that's going to be the final row of uh, flamers that go off. That's, that's the third row. Uh, so when you look at this, going back to the start, um, where it really, th there's a lot of different ways to wire this, but essentially what we're working with is we, we want to intentionally choose how much power we're putting in there. Uh, so again, this is a three power generator, uh, and then at the start I remove one power. So this is always powered, it's always taking one away. Uh, and you, you look at these different uh, powered speakers, Th these basically are like hard gates uh, that prevent power from going through the circuit. Uh, so if I have these two powered and I only have three power in the circuit, um, the, these up here, I, I would need five power to power them. So the only other way to send power in a three power circuit is, is to remove any other power sources. So there's, there's different ways you could do this. This is just the way that uh, I set this up. Um, but this is an example of, of how you can use that power pathing and priority to uh, do something kind of cool. Um, uh, there are different ways that you could maybe time this. Like you can just let this uh, break and then use this as a connector itself. Um, I've also tried uh, instead of walls, if you want something quicker, you can put like stacked paintings. You can stack like 10 to 20 paintings there or something like that. Um, not super cost effective. Um, but I did find uh, with the walls as well that uh, you can change them to steel and you can change them to wood and uh, wood will break faster. Uh, and steel will break slower. So uh, it kind of depends too on how laggy the server is. If you're on a private server, um, probably brick or higher. If you're on a public server, it's a bit slower. So you might you might need wood. Um, you can also like double up the layers. So if you switch it to a, a brick door or something like that, you can stick another uh, you can stick another door in there. I'm pretty sure. I probably can't because the wires are in there, but. Uh, um, anyway, you, you guys have seen that in, in other different tip videos and stuff like that. But you can double up walls as well if you wanted a little little extra time. But uh, I hope this example this this is wired like a nightmare, by the way. So I j just want it to be sort of a rudimentary uh, explanation. Um, but anyway, this is a good example of how you can use that power repathing to uh, to get your camp to do something a little more interesting and a little more uh, automated.